Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with Katrina Cat Shepherd. Uh, in between last episode and right now, I flew out to the Normandy crash site and did that um, mission just for the XP. It's worth 240 points XP, and I wanted that, so now we have, what, 260 points to the next level. And, uh, but it doesn't really fit with the story I want to tell here, where Katrina is kind of in hot water with the Alliance for having stolen Normandy. I mean, it's been two years now. Tempers have cooled a little bit. Uh, Hackett's got some influence. He's, he's kept his job as commander of the Fifth Fleet, and he's able to run some interference for her, but uh, it really wouldn't make sense for the Alliance to contact her to do this. The, the Alliance should have done it themselves anyway. But I wanted the XP, so I did it off camera so we wouldn't have to pretend it was part of our story. And besides, it's boring. You don't want to see it. You don't want to see Shepard running around just picking up dog tags. Uh, so, we have now flown out to the Citadel. Is our first stop. Shepard wants to talk to Anderson, find out what the alliance is. She got a message from Anderson saying he wanted to talk to her. And uh, she wants to find out what the alliance is going to do about these abductions and what they're, they're doing about the Reaper threat, what the council's doing. So that's our first stop because before she's going to agree to actually work for Cerberus, uh, she needs to be convinced that these guys, I mean, last she talked to the council, they were like, um, yeah, we're going to get rid on this reaper threat. So, she wants to find out what's going on here with these guys. Because if she can go back to being part of the alliance, even though you know, she's not exactly their star pupil anymore. <laughs> uh, not after stealing the Normandy. She would rather do that than work for Cerberus. But she will work for Cerberus if she doesn't have any choice. If that's the only way to deal with the Reaper threat, if the Alliance and the Council aren't going to be doing anything, well, she will work with Cerberus. I'm not sure what I want to do with these points. Uh, I, I would like to get my cooldown times higher. Get a little extra health. I think I could get 10 points extra health here as well. Um, but I also would like to get warp and a point and throw and to level up singularity. So I'm not quite sure what to do. I do know what I want to do with Jacob. And I know what I want to do with Miranda for that nine second cooldown. You see, Heavy's got a 12 second cooldown, Unstable's got a nine second, and I, and I will take that. All right. Okay, Jacob, I don't want you, I want you on that. And the same goes for Miranda. I'm not going to talk to this thief, not until we've checked with the council. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. 
I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. I love it. Make him scream a little. What is wrong with CSEC? The entire organization needs to be just, everybody in it needs to be fired. Executor Palin seemed to be like an okay guy. Why can't he hire decent people? Look at Garrus. I think Garrus is like, oh yeah, off anybody who gets in my way of taking down a suspect. Look at this guy, advocating torture, takes bribes. My God, c is just a horrible outfit. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Well, it's probably because I was shot by one of your officers while uh, when the guy panicked or something because you guys are just completely crazy. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. So I take it you were a New York City cop who was fired for uh, actually being incompetent. <laughs> How did you get a job with CSEC? Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. Well, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. And the most corrupt, apparently. I should be going. 
You need anything else, let me know. All right, let's get uh, some provisions. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakarowart. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. All right, let's go meet with the council. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... Unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. There's still dirt on the wall behind them. I think that dirt was there in Mass Effect 1, too. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. I think I'm going to go this way. Because it would fit with her, like, agreeing to work with Cerberus. It's like, these guys are worthless. Of course, they were worthless last time. I mean, they're, they're all brain damaged. Everybody in this galaxy, including Shepard here, is brain damaged. Um, <laughs> but I think this will, this will like, work because she's like, well, Cerberus was right. These guys are not going to help. Cerberus is the only one that's going to do anything. The elusive man warned me. He said you're all too stupid and scared to see the truth. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councillor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Yeah, they know if I actually reported into them this time, I'd hang up on them all the time. <laughs> they don't want that. I was like, no, 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 no. You don't have to report. We, we know that perfectly well you'd hang up on us. <laughs> I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. I don't need their help. I just need you to keep them off my back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. 
Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you still had no right to do this without my knowledge. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. Anderson took an impossible situation and turned it into a win for both sides. You can say you knew all along, or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other counselors I'm on board. Better hurry. Fickle bunch. Quick to forget their friends. Goodbye, Shepard. I hope you'll go back to the Terminus systems soon. It would be better for all concerned. What an ass. As bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the Council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. You haven't forgotten how you got here. The rest of them, they're buried in procedure. Some of that is necessary. This place, the scale of it, doesn't hit you even when you're standing in it. But crack the files on interspecies relations, there's no end. We don't need an outside threat, Shepard. The balance here seems like it's fragile enough. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Why are you still here? You're still relying on these bugs. You're all idiots. Every one of you is a freaking idiot. You're sitting on a Reaper artifact. Have you all been indoctrinated? Probably. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I wanna... I, I was thinking I wanna ask how have you been, but then he just told Shepard, screw off. Like, uh... Shepard's kinda like... Screw you, too. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Yeah, but nobody else is doing anything. What do you want me to do? They moved the furniture around. Why didn't they clean up the wall? The wall's all dirty, but they moved the furniture around. Oh well, that's enough for this episode. Until next time, have a nice day.